uh, this morning the plan was to flush out the radiator on the tractor. Old Nelly Bell's been getting warm, and uh, but it only happens after like 20 to 30 minutes. And if you're pulling something, like if a uh, box blade or the bush hog or something like that, then, it, then, you know, 20 minutes. But if it's just sitting by itself with nothing or just sitting idling, it'll run all day, don't get hot at all. So the plan was to clean it out. I got some uh, heavy duty degreaser from Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight, if you don't know about it, that's your fault. Um, and I was gonna clean out the radiator. I've, I've hosed it out a few times and I get, you know, dirt and whatnot out of it, which is pretty common for a radiator on an old tractor. But um, this morning I came and checked the level and the level was down. I thought, well, maybe it gets hot and steams out or something. And I'll show you what I found. I, I don't believe I need to clean the radiator. I think I'm gonna have to replace the radiator because there's a hole in it. I don't know if you can see the, up there in the keystone on the side. Um, I've thought about soldering it. I don't think so. I think I'm just gonna replace it. There's a sticker on the side over here, right there underneath that plate. And, and it's the uh, original radiator. Surprise, surprise, you know. You gotta give it to Ford, man. I mean, they made them to stick around, I'd say. Uh, so what I originally thought was carburetor issues, not a carburetor issue. I'm still going to rebuild it. I got a guy, um, I'll probably make a video out of that. There's a yesterday's tractor website and there's, there's people in there, amazing, amazing people just out of their, you know, kindness of their hearts. They help, you know, people like myself who can't find their butt with both hands when it comes to the tractor and, uh, it walks you through how to figure out what you need, where it's at, how to find part numbers which part what's rebuild kits the best blah 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 so there's hope for this old girl yet i'm sure we'll get um we'll get her together but right now i, I can run it for about 20 minutes and i watch it i got the temperature gauge working so i don't run any risk of um you know warping ahead or anything so once it starts climbing above 160 that's when i shut it off and let it cool off for a couple hours and fire back up again do it again i mean like beating your head against the wall but right now that's what i gotta do so uh keep it posted on the radio though hi for some of you uh you'll remember a couple videos back that we had the um the brush grabber not to be confused with the bush grabber which is a donald trump endorsed product uh anyway this is the entrance it's gonna it's a future entrance to our place uh, there's gonna be an entrance and an exit left and right right and left however you want to look at it we're gonna put our sign out here but there's some really beautiful water oaks out here um, and I'm gonna spin this around and you'll see how much we've cleaned out uh, we basically take anything that's a gum tree and or honeysuckle and or poison ivy um, well, I found a cherry tree that's as crooked as a dog's leg actually here I'll show it to you right now One of these trees is not like the other. Yeah, that's a cherry tree down south. Uh, I think it was because it was competing for, for light that it's so crooked. Um, but for right now, she's gonna stay. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna be the case, but anyway, you can look down through here and you can tell, I mean, you can almost get a visual of the path going through here. These middle oaks, I'm walking through the middle here. There'll be like an island here of uh you know decorative plants flowery plants i don't know anyway but that that side over there that comes in it'll go back the way we just showed you here's the exit coming out um and then right about here it'll turn to go back to the parking area um the goal here was to have the parking area so that you don't really see it from the road. Um, you know, kind of for the neighbors, for aesthetics. Um, I think it's gonna be real pretty though when we get this uh, gravel come in this way, you know, and then turn and head that way. And then the other entrance part comes here and then they meet about right here and then they turn and go down, so. But anyway, yeah, this really beautiful tree right here. 
That's the one we cut the limb out of yesterday, or day before, or whatever. I don't remember when days go together when you're down here. We basically work from the time we get up to the time we go to bed. And sometimes we go to bed with the sun up, you know what I mean? That's how tired we are, but... Anyhow, um, you can tell how well it cleared us out. I mean, it, it looked like that. And with a little bit of elbow grease and the bush grabber, I'm sorry, brush grabber, this product is not affiliated with any Donald Trump endorsed products. Uh, anyway, this is what it looks like at the end. So I got some, uh, some pruning utensils to clean up a little bit what's left and uh, eventually we're going to put geotextile in here put some gravel down we'll have an entrance and an exit and today we're going to be removing some of the last gum trees old nelly bell will get saddled up to these and pull them out of here and we're in business everything you see with the little orange marks something like that one there wasn't a paintball war back here. That was actually Ginger marking what she wants in and out of here. But anyhow, we got this big one right here to come out today. There's some smaller ones and there's a bunch of little ones in there that's coming out. We're gonna try to get it with the um, grabber. I'm try to cut them off high, grab them with the grabber, pull them out with the tractor, see how that works. If that don't work, I'll cut them off real low and put the geotextile over top of them and kill them. And, Hasta la vista, so, but yeah, the road comes in here, it's going to turn right here, and go right down through there, so you can tell that, but that one's definitely got to come out. Yeah, I don't know if the other video is going to show it very well, but we were pulling the tree, uh, one of these big gum trees, I was pulling with a tractor, and the front wheels came up, and when it came down, um, it came down. <laughs> so here's what she looks like. I think I broke the front axle off the frame. Yeah, I think that's all it is. Yeah, I think it's just a big bolt in the front, but it looks like it smashed the fan blade. 
Uh, so it looks like it's gonna get a water pump and a radiator and that pivot bolt that goes through the front frame. But I'll flip around here so you can check it out. Let all the water out of it. You really can get a better picture from back here. Yeah, she's sitting a little low. Low rider. It's probably down almost a foot more in the front than it should be. So, old Nelly Bell's done for now.